This time on Weekend Rental, we play Towball 2, a Japan only sequel to Towball No. 1 from Dream Factory. Before we get to our reviews, let's watch some gameplay. And. Alright, I'm in Z2. This is. Oh, and Very, this should have I, all the oh. extra characters. Yeah, oh, under... Yeah. There are so many characters, uh, you're not yeah. even going to know them. <laughs> a, a dog? Uh-oh. Let's not go straight to that, though. Yeah. <laughs> let's start, let's Dude, go. All these models. Ew. I didn't know they named a character after me. I still think this game looks amazing. <laughs> this game well, is sick. Ooh. 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 I'm not sure what Circle does. I don't know that it does, does anything. I don't know how this game plays, to be honest. I don't I, re remember I will, at all. We will play the video. I mean, it's going to be in Japanese, but it'll show you like a button and then something happening, which I think it's like low, medium and high. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Guard. All right, so you can guard low or high by holding guard and hitting down or yeah, oh. nice. Oh, and then here's a counterattack. Ooh. So like we're never doing any of this successfully. No, I can block and then counterattack. It's easy, man. What are you talking about? So it's like a parry, like a Dark Souls parry or some shit. There you go. Okay, okay, it's okay. Like, and you the realize Dark Souls you just fighting games. Games. Yeah. Whoa, what was that? The uh, light sword. <laughs> you can't block it. Oh, it's oh, like yeah. unblockables. I see. Unblockable. Yeah. They have a little flourish. You push the block happens. button to do an unblockable. No, like, it's, no, saying, it's just demonstrating what an unblockable is. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. I feel like the dark Let's doesn't do see it. what you got. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh okay. A nice pop-up. Oh god, I've switched sides. I forget how this works. Alright. Ooh. So R1 is guard, L1 is jump. And then you got X square and triangle is low, medium, high. Ooh. Okay. And circle doesn't do anything, right? That's what I. Yeah, as far as we saw. Ooh. 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 Probably should have gone to the. Convention. This stage looks great too. I'm loving the the set design. Yeah, it's yeah. Great. These are impressive, actually. Ooh. Like they, they are. For they look 20? better than Tekken had going on. Yeah. <laughs> that was more like yeah. just flat, uh, like flat textures, infinitely stretched in Tekken. Yeah, and it rotates pretty well. I'm I'm pretty charmed for Ooh, a PS1 nice. background. Like an overhead. The music is very Virtua Fighter. It is. Yeah. Ooh. Which uh, is great. Ooh. Ooh. I think this was my favorite character when I played as a kid. And she said, Hola. 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 <laughs> Ready? Que pasa, wey? <laughs> Boy, this character looks unwieldy. Yeah. <laughs> Chaco? Chaka. Oh, Chaka. Whoa. Oh, you juggled me. Oh. I didn't expect her to have a kick like that. She looked like a wrestler. Yeah. Some Classic. are like guard heavy. Oh, that was the unblockable Dr. V. Oh, guard and button. I forgot that they showed us guard and button as different yeah. attacks as well. Yeah, well, guard and medium is uh, throw, but I guess guard and heavy oh. is something. Okay. This song's sick. Oh, here's Unblockable. This character looks Dragon Ball V as hell. Hell yeah. yeah. Sick. Mark. Mark. Classic Dragon Ball Z name. Yeah. The names are great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mark stole my shift. <laughs> He's like a dancer? Dancing fighter? Yeah. I like him. Uh, yeah. Ooh, what is that? <laughs> oh, God. Game oh, handles nice. really well. Yeah, better than I thought it was going. Mm -hmm. Feels really smooth. Yeah, I'm getting used to the controls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> big looking guy. Oh, oh no, shit. Dr. Rewards. Yes, big. so big. So big. Jesus. That's like a bot in the quest mode. Nork, Nork Mark fight. Oh, Mark II's a Mark full two. lizard man. Yeah, it's just scary. fucking Frieza too. Yeah, for real. Yeah, big time. <laughs> oh, chill out, Nork. Frieza with Cell's tail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, Frieza with Cell's tail. 
It's kind of like Dragon Ball Z when the character design was still fun and not just like, let's make them oh. progressively more muscular and more hot. Yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. have muscles <laughs> on muscles on muscles. Longer and then hair. Veins and a lot of like sweat. <laughs> yeah. I'm confused. Well, is <laughs> disgusting. Too big. Too he's too big. I found my new Nork mage. is a cool model though. Yeah, he's <laughs> a fucked up Ganon. A tattoo of Nork. It is Ganon. <laughs> wow. It's Ganon. It's like cute Ganon. Yeah. I want to be chill. Oh, why are they not playing the charts? The music plays so oh, 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 oh. They are. They're playing the chocolate music. Oh, the noise! Dog can't block. Oh, <laughs> he can't. <laughs> I don't think so. No. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> this is very strange yep. to watch a dog this is, play this way. This is why I come <laughs> to fighting games. <laughs> wow. Good dog win. Uh, no, we haven't done Mufu or. Oh wow. Oh goodness. Oh, right, you guys, have you guys seen Killer Bean? No. Yes, I have seen Killer <laughs> Bean. This guy looks like it's, Killer Bean. Um, I think you. I think I watched it with you one night, Philip. Oh yeah, oh, I watched with, it with all the bounce and break dancing. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> really, really good. <laughs> this is Dang. like big Killer Bean. Yeah. Been kicking them long legs though. <laughs> oh, 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 broken okay. last second. Dude, he's got what weird, the hell? weird normals. Damn it. Mufu's animation is hilarious. Yeah, it's really crazy. This is it's exactly how I fight, which is weird. I think this was mocap. What do you guys think? Video game. I think it was definitely mocap. <laughs> they must have mocapped me when you they know, weren't when I wasn't looking. That's how Ed walks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys have met me in real life. I'm a lot like this guy. <laughs> They're usually laying down when I see you. Oh come. Alright. Let's see, uh, which... Time for Dolly Slatton Parton. on DLC <laughs> yeah, character. <for> real. <laughs> Big Dolly Parton. Did you select the fighter, Dolly Parton? <laughs> Big Dolly looks great. Big Dolly. Dolly. Killing. Ready to kill. Oh, what's that? Was that a backdash? Chill out, Big Dolly. Oh, <laughs> she, <laughs> she gets scary with her arms up. Yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Big damage. Yeah. Big dolly. <laughs> oh no. Ooh, that, was, oh. That, was that was some fucking John Wick shit right there. Yeah, wow. that was a If that had move. landed though, you would have got it. I know, it's I was close. ready to bash. <laughs> Big dolly. I, I bet that thing's got good lows. This thing just looks like a fodder from like a Castlevania movie. Oh my movie. gosh, it has, that is a good low. It's the low animation low. is great though, of okay. it. Oh, uh -oh. we pause. Oh, there we go. Oh, cool. Doing a little crash. <laughs> Punk head. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, he he lost? is he blind? Is he blind? This is what the punk heads what shows up when you have sleep paralysis. <laughs> yeah, this is a sleep, sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Man, he's That's slow. A good combo. Very scary. Yeah. The way he kind of like. He's also kind of like one of those um, flapping things at the the front of a uh, auto dealership. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can never predict those things. If I tried to fight yeah. one of those things, I just oh, you you'd have to pray for me. <laughs> pray for you. <laughs> Two rounds, you're out. Yeah, big chance for you, man. See that coming from the punk head. I like how yeah. some of the curtains in the background are like weirdly offset. Yeah. On yeah. purpose. This is an evil. They got a weird style in this castle. Watch the ring out. Yeah, go for the ring out. Uncanny how he slowly. <laughs> Very nerve wracking. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> this does feel very like dream scenario. Yeah, it's like the okay. shitty that... off-brand toy you buy as a kid, and you're just like, I didn't know it'll work. <laughs> yeah, that was really truly weird. Yeah, he's like a, a knockoff Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> Pretty good. 
Punkhead. Punkhead. We haven't seen Udon, yeah, or Udan. Right. Oh, very cool. I think he's got a similar well, move set to Faye. I gotta try. I gotta. That, I gotta dog. Yeah, I gotta try the dog. Up. I gotta look at that. <laughs> that looks dog like every dog I've ever had. It yeah. Like very natural. Dog. dog can't block though. Wait, what does he? Does he just growl? What? Okay. Oh, he, he, does he does big behind leg like, like, kicks. <laughs> That's so weird. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting beat up by a dog. God. <laughs> it's like, oh, Jesus that was Christ. quite the win. Out of the ring. Ready? Get him out of here. And gotta roll away. Dog doesn't care. Ready? Fight. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Forking. <laughs> I love it. What's the bark button? <laughs> It seems to differ depending on range. Okay, interesting. That's kind of cool. projectile that has no effect. Later. So, uh, first on reviews, we'll have myself, um, Filter. I really, really like Till Ball 2 as a like pure 90s 3D fighter. I think um, it fits in neatly between Virtual Fighter and Tekken uh, in, in how it feels and mostly how it looks. Uh, but it's got its own aesthetics um, from Akira Toriyama, of course. So um, a lot of things can sometimes look like it's a clone of a Dragon Ball Z character, but um, if you like that look, I think it, it can really um, impress you. And also the backgrounds and, um, and colors and just the general polish of how everything animates is really nice uh, for a PS1 game. A lot of things from that era run a lot worse. Um, I really like the grappling system and how it actually feels like a, a back and forth between players instead of like a rock, paper, scissors quickly who hit the throw button faster. Um, and of course the unlockable characters, I won the tournament with one of those. Um, so I don't know how tournament viable they are or like how balanced they are, but I really like that they're there because they're super fun uh, and give the game, you know, something to unlock if you're playing single player. And Diamond Time, could you tell me what uh, you thought of this game? Well, uh, Filter, I gotta say, I love this game. Um, I, I, the first, uh, the first installment of this series, Toball One, was something that I spent inordinate amounts of time playing when I was a kid, and I knew that a Toball Two was out there. I just never could get my hands on it. Um, I don't know whether it's just wasn't released in the US or if it was just really hard to find um, but that was that was uh, where I was at with it so it's it's really really great for me to be um to be seeing a lot of these characters again uh, feels very similar to the first game um, and coming at it as an adult of course uh, it's a fantastic fighting game a lot of depth to the move sets um, really you can you can tell that there's a lot of digging to do to really figure out each character. Uh, everything feels really good. I like how it feels more than I like a lot of the, the way a lot of fighting games feel. I'm not a big fighting game head myself, um, so it's it's refreshing for me to just be able to pick it up and feel like I'm kind of good. Um, not that my tournament uh, performance represented that whatsoever. Uh, I really like the game. The music was fantastic. The characters are fun to look at. There's a good amount of silliness in it. That dog was fucking bizarre. Uh, two fives, two fives in a row for me. So the next one better be trash. Uh, what do you think, Neo Sense? Thank you for asking, um, Diamond Time. I am a huge fan of Toeball Two. I have played Toeball One. It, it's rough around the edges, although very charming. Uh, but this is the this is the full package. The graphics are incredible. You don't notice it, but you know when you're watching two other people fight and you look into the background, the backgrounds are wonderful, uh, very well realized, and within the realm of their engine. Uh, this is certainly the best Dragon Ball Z polygon fighter of that era. Uh, that never was. Uh, I had played many of them, and none of them stand to this muster the a complete save file or a slow grind through the quest mode which i didn't experience is probably necessary to get all the crazy unlockables uh, of which there are 
over a hundred. Yeah, I mean, this is just the quintessential PS1 3D fighter. <clears throat> oh, but it it looks like a new challenger has approached. What do you think, Momo? Hey, wow, this game, you know, I've heard about it for a really long time. And it's, you know, it's, you wouldn't think it would be so good. Because a lot of times when companies like branch off into fighting games, it's kind of like weird or it's, they don't know what they're doing or something. But it's, I don't know, this game did not disappoint. It's super fun. It's the grabbing system is super interesting. Like you could grab and then counter that and then they can counter that. And you know, it's super innovative, looks great for the time. The soundtrack is so incredible. 90s dream fighting fantasy. It's uh, the art style is great. You know, I and I especially like the uh, the quest mode. I really appreciate when fighting games have something like that, like um, tech and force mode or, or, you know, just some other thing that you could do in the fighting game with all the characters. It just makes it, it's just fun. Um, yeah, great game. Definitely buy it or get it somehow. Um, well, what do you think, Stove? Total 2 is a weird one to review. On the whole, it's an extremely competent fighting game and a bit different than other fighting games, especially of the era. It's pretty damn impressive graphically as well, doubly so for a PlayStation 1 game, owning, owing all of that basically to its smooth frame rate, great music and sound effects, the whole shebang really. Now here comes the part where I kind of shit on all of that. It didn't really resonate with me, not because of the gameplay or graphics or any of the actual kind of tangible things you normally see. It's the odd package and tone it provides. To break that down, you can see the attempt to have a cast of zany, totally not Dragon Ball characters along with the normal roster of crazy unlockable characters. Those unlockable characters are the easiest way to get my point across. You can see the limitations that were seemingly put in place either out of disinterest of the team or kind of wanting to rein it in. The unlockable characters aren't really crazy enough, but not, in air quotes, normal enough either. It feels at odds with what they set out to build, which is a serious technical fighter. In a way, I feel like the game would have been better served reining it in and taking a more conservative approach like Virtua Fighter. Essentially, go more than one-tenth of the way into the crazy direction or don't really attempt it at all. It feels like on paper they really wanted to just have this exceedingly complex fighter but had to throw in the not quite oddball style and not to you know and not be insane scaffolding around it they basically kind of just threw in poochie because it was hot at the time essentially a good to great fighting game that falls in the middle for me because both parents are simultaneously pulling it in the opposite direction 